Going through COVID-19 reports can feel like you're swimming through a sea of new positive cases. Average ages, age groups, residents, non-residents, total cases, and the death rates. You can get lost in the numbers if you don't know what to look for. There's one piece of information experts say we should be thinking about every day. The percent of positive cases. That helps us understand if we're doing enough testing and how an overall community is responding to the pandemic. If we see a consistent rise in the percentage of positive cases, then we know more people on average are being infected. You can't just take the percent positive at face value, though. Dr. Jill Roberts with the USF College of Public Health says it's more complex than that. So the problem with percent positive is it varies due to how much testing you do. So you cannot just compare percent positive from one day to the next unless the number of tests is the same. You can't compare a day with high testing to a day with low testing. That won't give you an accurate picture of how the virus is spreading. Dr. Juan Demois from Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital says a misconception about the percent of positive cases is that as we do more testing, the number will automatically go up. That is not true at all. Um, the, um, the, the raising of the percent positive in a community means that there is more virus infecting more people. Think about it like apples. If we looked at 10 apples and found worms in six, 60% were infected. But if we looked at 50 apples and still only found six with worms, that number changes to 12%. If it was 100 apples and still only six had worms, 6% 6 infected. So to really know what the percent of positive cases is, we have to be doing as much testing as possible.